Welcome back to my channel, Predict in the Future. Today, we're going to talk about one of the most important uh, topics in probability theory, in statistics, and in machine learning, which is Monte, Markov chain Monte Carlo. It's one of the most widely used um, type of algorithm in machine learning, in quantitative finance, in scientific research. It has a wide, very wide range of uh, impact on 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 how this how we generate samples, we estimate uh, uh, proper uh, parameters. So uh, this will be uh, um, an introduction uh, video because that the Markov chain Monte Carlo is a type of uh, algorithm. It's not one algorithm. It's a it's a group of algorithms. It's it's a basic idea of how how we can use Markov chain to to generate samples and to estimate um, parameters. So let's begin. Uh, so what's the what's the idea? What what's the uh, idea behind Markov chain Monte Carlo? How how these two related? So the idea is that uh, in in case we uh, we want to generate sample of a certain distribution, it's not easy to generate uh, in a in a traditional way. Uh, but we can generate. But we can use a Markov, Markov chain to generate. We can we can cons construct a Markov chain where the stationary distribution of the Markov chain is exactly the same probability distribution of the of the underlying uh, random variables we want we want to generate. So basically, we we use the Markov chain to generate a long process of samples and use those uh, and those uh, last samples. Let's say a a, a Cut off place, uh, let's say xn as that sample as uh, the sample for our uh, underlying distribution x. So that's the basic idea. We're going to use Markov chain and the stationary distribution to do that. And and one of the um, one of the algorithms that many places would would introduce as one what as the first algorithm for MCMC is Metropolis Hastings algorithm so let's 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 talk about this algorithm how it works online how why it works suppose we uh, we want to generate sample from a probability distribution pi uh, a probability distribution pi um, we don't know we can we can't really easily generate but we know that this this distribution pi is proportional to a uh, another function let's say fx and fx is known. We can calculate the value of fx. Uh, and, and so, but we can't easily calculate uh, the, the normalizing factor, which is uh, the total sum of fx. If we, we can, then we can we can easily generate that by dividing fx by the total sum of x. That would be basically uh, an, a simple uh, s uh, s distribution we can we can generate. But in case we can't, in, we can't uh, calculate the, the normalizing factor of x easily, then uh, those traditional ways won't work. So metropolis hasting algorithm uh, is uh, here is, is to construct a Markov chain which uh, asymptotically reach a unique st stationary distribution which equals to pi. And, and to do that, uh, there's two things we have to uh, to have to to think about. The first is we have to construct the uh, Markov chain so that there is a stationary distribution that is the existence of the stationary distribution, uh, and and the metropolis hasting algorithm construct the um, the Markov chain uh, by by using time reversible Markov. They basically generate it, we we can we need to construct a, a Markov chain P which is time reversible. Well, what I mean time risk reversible is here. So the the number of flows from x to y is equals to the number of flows from y to x. So pi x times the transition probability of from x to y is equal to uh, probability of, uh, starting from y 
times uh, the transition from y to x. So that's called time reversible Markov chain, and and as long as this this equation two point uh, this equation uh, holds, then we 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 can this, this pi is just the uh, the stationary distribution. Why we just sum out the pi, uh, sum out the uh, uh, this equation, let's say sum out from y, uh, then then the left side here, the left side here, it just becomes pi x. The right right hand side is just um, the stationary distribution equations we saw in Markov chain. So there will be some summing over pi of y times p uh, p x y p y x. So that time reversible uh, equation uh, makes the Markov chain. Uh, Exist, uh, make sure that it exists a stationary distribution. Um, and but we also need want to make sure that this uh, this pro, this Markov chain is also this the stationary distribution is also unique, and that is uh, we have to somehow make uh, to make sure that this Markov chain we construct is uh, a godic. Uh, this, this a godic means that it's aperiodic. So the period the periods of the Markov chain is one. And it's positive recurrent. Uh, in most cases, that's that's usually the case. Uh, sometimes it's not easy to 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 prove that, but in most cases, the Markov chain will in, in real life constructions is will be uh, likely to be periodic and positive recurrent. So, so we, so that's our goal. We need to construct the, this this Markov chain uh, P. Um, and uh, and and the Metropolis Hastings algorithm's idea is to use. We, we can't just come up with uh, any. There's there's no way to to. There's no easy way to think. Okay, how do we construct this P? Um, so so Metropolis Hastings algorithm idea is to this is that okay. Suppose we have another Markov chain. Let's say it's it's a Markov chain Q. And we can easily generate sam samples from there. Uh, then, uh, okay, so that we can use Q to to propose propose a new sample using the uh, the the Q uh, Markov chain, and then we use another um, probability alpha to either accept or reject this new proposal, and we'll do that all the time. Uh, so that's the idea of uh, uh, Metropolis Hastings um, algorithm, and suppose uh, so. Let's so let's let's uh, let Q be such a, a, a Markov chain we're gonna use for generating samples, and the, and let's be, let alpha be the rejection or accept a racial probability distribution we're gonna use, and uh, then. If we lead, if if we let the the Markov chain P to P, to be equal to Q times uh, alpha, so that's we first propose a sample with with the probability Q, uh, y given x, times the acceptance prob uh, probability of alpha, y given x. So we first propose a sample y, and then we either accept or reject uh, the sample y. Uh, Based on this probability alpha uh, y given x, so so if you put this equation into uh, our time reversible Markov chain here, then what we get uh, is let's move over other terms. Just leave the alpha y given x to that uh, to one side and leave leave the others the other side. Uh, because pi is a proportional to a function f, so the the com the the common term is cancel all. We just have is f y times q x given y divided by f x times q y given x. And if we let this alpha y x, we change it a little bit. We want to make this equation to be equal, right? So we want to make this equation to be equal. It, if we let y x to be in the minimum of this this term, so we so y so alpha x given y is always less than or equal to one. So let's say remove this term. So we just left the the other 
uh, term here. And we take the minimum of this value n1, whichever is, is smaller, and we plug this thing into uh, our equation 2.1, then we we'll see that, uh, or we can see here as well. So here, if plug this alpha y x equal to here, let's see alpha y given x is, is this one, it's not one, but this one. Then we plug in here, then the pi x is uh, times q y given x has canceled out from here. This is canceled with this one. What we left here is just pi y times q x given y, which is the same as the right hand side, pi y q x given y. Why this is when when this is, is taking the minimum of this term, then 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 alpha x given y, the other one, then this one will become one. So so that proves that the, the right hand side is equal, equal, equals to the left, left hand side. And, and vice versa. So if we if alpha y given x is one, then the other one is the uh, is here. So it, the uh, on the other side is also the same. So this is equation is satisfied. Satisfied. So that alpha, this is the uh, acceptance probability uh, for taking uh, accepting the proposal, and one minus this 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 probability is, is the probability of rejecting the proposal. So that. So that p being equal to q times alpha is our Markov chain we want to construct. So let's so then let's go through how the algorithm works. So first initialization we let uh, our first uh, first um, random sample to be any initial sample. Let's say x one. And we choose a super large number n to be uh, because we we are we are trying to generate a sample of a long process of that Markov chain, and after a long time, that the sample at the n will be uh, station stationary, right? Stationary, and that sample can be used as our um, sample for our, the underlying distribution x. So we want n to be large. Uh, and so the next thing is we're gonna go through a loop to generate a long sample process n. So the next thing is that we're gonna use our proposal transition uh, uh, probability q to propose a new sample y. This can be easily generated because we know that q is something we use. We know how to generate sample, and then we're gonna create. Uh, we're gonna calculate the acceptance uh, probability alpha given alpha y given xt and that will be the, fun, uh, the formula we just found in here and then the next step is we generate a uniform random variable u and if u is less than or equal to this alpha then we accept this sample y and uh, by setting t equal to, uh, equal to t plus 1 and setting the xt plus 1 oh sorry xt equal to y uh, to y so the y is being accepted otherwise we don't change that we don't we don't iterate to the next t the next sample. We continue to generate a new proposal, either accepted or rejected, until uh, we generate the n sample. And the last sample we can we can use that last sample as our proposed our sample for for the for the underlying um, some uh, distribution x we want to generate. And then we are gonna um, we're gonna repeat this process for many times uh, for the amount of samples we want to generate for x. Um, so that's the idea of uh, um, metropolis hasting algorithm. Yeah, that's it. So hopefully you like it. This is the metropolis hasting algorithm. If you have any questions, comment below in the, in, in the video, and I will try to uh, answer that as soon as possible. Thank you.